Ya, hello, hello. Prior to my um, last video I uploaded, sorry, I was supposed to give you guys a link to use. If I okay, this link here, I will attach this link to this video. Please copy and paste this. Okay, I'll show you how you can use this link because um, on a normal note, I'm not sure you can be able to access this this page from your Facebook account since it's restricted. So I just wanted to use the link I'll be I'll be giving to you. I don't think you can access this page. Some of you might, some might not be able to access this page. Because I, I too, I found it, I, I wasn't able to access this page from my business manager. So this is how you are going to access it. I'll attach this link to this video. Here is what you, here is what you need to do with the link. So, um, once I give you the link, please, on this space, you put your business ID here. Your, business id here okay and here also you put your business id your note there's no space all you need to do all you need to do please if all you need to do is just delete this and paste your business id Sorry, I made a mistake. Let me just put, I am not supposed to give space. Your business ID. Your business ID. Here. Okay, please just try to understand. Same thing goes here. Your business, business ID here. So please, I will drop it the way it is here like this. I will drop it, um, I will drop this link attached to this video, please. Just copy this link, um, paste. Once you have logged in the account, you are trying to remove the domain from. Open this link on another tab, paste it on another tab, then go to the business manager you're trying to verify. Like, okay, we just removed the domain here. This is the business manager link here. This is the link. I mean, sorry, this is the ID. You just copy this ID. Because once you copy this ID, you come here, you delete this, you delete this here, and you paste. So I'll just leave this link, I'll copy this link, and attach to this video, so you can be able to use it also. Then once you do that, you'll be able to access the page, then you'll be able to remove your domain. 